Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another flight attendant vlog. I am in the process of getting ready. As you can see, I have a relatively later report time. Today is 8.55 report time, um, which is kind of nice to sleep in a little bit this morning. Starting a three-day trip, tonight overnight in Portland, Maine, tomorrow overnight in Kansas City. Both are decent overnights. I think they're each overnight is at least 19 hours, which is like enough time. Tonight is good because I need to wash my hair, so I like packed all the stuff to wash my hair, so I have time to do that. Um, I might try and get out and go to Target when I'm in Portland tomorrow. We'll see, because my report time is until like 5 p.m. tomorrow. Is that right? Tomorrow? Chat, I don't know. Um, so I kind of need a couple things from Target, so I might just use my time to do that. But welcome, y'all. Um, I have about 10, 15 more minutes before I need to leave out. But I'm pretty much ready. Got all my stuff packed. Got my food. I'm taking three, four bags this trip. I got my little mini roller. I got um, my lunch bag. I have an extra bag that has like my stuff to wash my hair in my backpack. It's a lot. I know. It's annoying. I I hate carrying lots of bags on trips. But yeah, I'm ready. Um, looking forward to getting this over with. I just finished having four days off in a row and that was lovely y'all lovely let me tell you but <clears throat> let me get the last minute things together and I will probably check in with you guys when I'm on the plane next maybe this plane y'all it's a mess in here um catering must have just came because there was stuff everywhere <clears throat> so I'm gonna get set up I still have like 10 minutes max report time so I'm gonna get set up get this stuff organized I got a sandwich I'm gonna eat that and then get the show on the road the other flight attendant that I'm working with it's funny her name's Amanda too and she's also black so <laughs> we're winning on this trip y'all double Amanda's double chocolate Amanda's it's, an, it's a beautiful thing all right so I'm on flight two now I just completed a three-hour set in here in Charlotte such a long set and then we're flying from here Charlotte to JFK and when we get done get to JFK we're gonna have a two-hour set so I'm already over there. It feels like it's been a full day and I've only operated one flight. So, but when I get to JFK, I'm warming up my food now. I'm gonna eat when I get there. So that'll help fill some time. And then we fly from JFK to Portland, Maine tonight. And I think we get in at like around 8.30 or so. Yeah, it feels like it's been a full day and I've literally only worked five flights. Cause it's been, I think I've been here, it's been almost like six hours into my day. Anyways. Talk to you later. Hey guys. Y'all, it has been a day. Um, it has been a day. Um, I'm not in Portland. I am in, can y'all see it? Where? Queens, New York. Never made it to Portland. Um, when's the last time I talked to you guys? I was in Charlotte getting ready to fly to JFK. That flight went smooth. Got to JFK. We had like a two hour set fine i tried to warm up my food but my the i don't know my mini logic because my plan was to eat there my mini logic wasn't working very well it wasn't warming it up fast enough whatever plane came landed we're like cool let's just go to the gate let's go to the plane i was like when i get on the plane i'll warm it up we walked to the gate and then we proceeded to sit there for like 45 minutes because even though the plane had landed it just wasn't coming to the gate and we couldn't figure out why but apparently it had landed and like traffic I don't know but it took it forever to get to the gate and by the time it came and we got on the plane or we started to get on the plane my captain told us he's like you guys just mo just so you know more than likely this flight is going to cancel y'all let me sit down um he was like this flight is probably going to cancel so he had already got a call from dispatch because apparently the weather in Portland was really really bad and um so we had to wait so then about I'd say less than half an hour later that we got the notification that the flight canceled cool whatever we're in New York and I was like you know I could possibly go home probably would just still go to the hotel and then my whole crew everyone but me their phones started updating with what they were doing the two pilots were gonna overnight here in New York and then they're gonna deadhead tomorrow to pick up the trip and finish our trip out. The other flight attendant, they had reassigned her to work a leg to DC. She was gonna overnight in DC for the night and then double deadhead to meet up with us tomorrow to continue the trip. 
So I'm just like waiting for my thing to update and I keep refreshing and refreshing it and it's just not updating. And I'm like, okay, well, when stuff like this happens, lots of cancellations that are like, scheduling line it gets really backed up so like they're probably just really busy they could just be taking a bit so i waited like half an hour then i was like yo they're just not updating so i'm gonna call them i was like number 29 in the queue when i called and it i sat on hold for over an hour and then i finally got a guy on the phone and i was like explaining the situation my whole crew has been updated with what they're doing but i still not still don't know what's what i'm supposed to do um so he was like, okay, let me put you on hold. He put me on hold for like five minutes. It felt like 20, but I think it was probably really only five, maybe seven. Um, and then he proceeds to tell me, okay, so they had just skipped me, missed me or something. And he's like, I put your um, information into our the system that books our hotels. He's like, it's been submitted. So um, I'm just waiting for confirmation as far as like what hotel you're going to be at in uh new york and he's like i don't want to send you tell you to go with your pilots because you may not be at that hotel because if they could be sold out or whatever so he's like i'll call you back so i'm like and let you once i get the confirmation of where you're staying so at this point i had told my pilots to just go ahead and leave because they had just been waiting that whole time for me to get an update because they didn't want to leave me but i was like at least I know I have a hotel. I'm staying here. So I didn't want to make them just keep waiting forever. So I was like, I'm fine. Just like head on. And then the other flight attendant I was with, she had to leave and go um, to do her other flight she had to do. So I proceeded to sit in the airport for another hour <laughs> waiting for this man to call me back. I tried to call them back, but I was always like number 30 in the queue. And it was I knew I was going to be on hold for I Eventually, I just sat on hold. And then he called me while I was on hold and he told me he was like well it's been submitted he's like it's showing on my end that you have a reservation there but i had called them like 20 minutes before just to see if my reservation had gone through and they didn't have it and then my pilots had showed up and they had just texted me like three minutes before because i told them i'm like when you get there ask to see if they have a reservation under my name and they didn't but he was just like just take the van to the hotel and um hopefully by the time you get there you'll have the reservation so i'm at the hotel now what time is it y'all it is currently 11 19. i started this morning at 8 55. i have been here at this hotel for about 10 minutes so far luckily when i got here they had a reservation for me and i was able to check in and i am exhausted you guys and i have not eaten all day you guys well that's not true i've had snacks but my meal that i've been attempting to eat with my hot logic it just hasn't been able to like cook enough and i haven't had access to why does it smell like cigarette smoke in here or is that my clothes when i was standing outside waiting for the van there's a lady smoking beside beside me so i don't know if it's me from being near her or if it's this room smells like smoke i don't know y'all i'm tired but i'm going to finally warm up my food and eat it I have the TV going on the first 48 and <laughs> I'm going to put my pajamas on, I'm going to eat my food. I was supposed to wash my hair tonight. That was my whole plan for my overnight because it was like 20 hours. But I just don't know if I have it in me um, tonight to do it. So I might have to do it tomorrow. And also tomorrow, flying in and out of New York, there's supposed to be a bad storm coming in and out of New York. It's supposed to be really bad tomorrow. So I don't know what that means for us because we're supposed to, now we're deadheading from jfk to portland tomorrow to meet up with our trip because we're supposed to overnight in portland and then we're portland back to laguardia but the time we're supposed to be coming back to laguardia is the weather supposed to be really bad so i just don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow we'll see oh lord y'all become a flight attendant they said it'd be so fun they said lies y'all the lies they tell you <laughs> anyways i'll talk to y'all tomorrow good morning you guys i'm up i'm up um, I don't know if you hear the beeping, but the sounds of my city woke me up this morning. The sunshine, I left the curtains open last night, so the sunshine definitely woke me up. And the sounds outside, uh, which I don't mind. Um, it is currently, what is it, 7.55 right now. I'm going to get ready and go downstairs and get breakfast. Um, I'm trying to, like, I don't know what's going to happen today. So today we're supposed to fly. We're dead heading at, I think, to something to, like I said, to Portland to pick up our trip. But New York is getting hit with bad weather today. They're saying damaging winds, hail, possible tornadoes, thunderstorms. And it's supposed to start around the time 
of my deadhead to Portland. <clears throat> and then when we get to Portland, we have to fly back to New York. So, and it's still going to be happening. So I really, I feel like it's just going to mess up the day. I don't know what's going to happen. If it's going to have us stuck somewhere, if we're going to be able to make all the flights, because we're supposed to end up in Kansas City tonight. Um, so we're going to see what happens. You just, you never know what's going to happen. Um, I did not anticipate yesterday going down like it was. I didn't, wasn't aware that there was like any bad weather anywhere. So that kind of shocked me when he was like, because of weather. I was like, what? weather because new york was fine yesterday but we're gonna see it's it's beautiful out right now blue skies sunny it was the temperature 65 degrees but it says the weather is going to start around noon is when the bad weather picks up and it's supposed to go till about nine which is like the whole hours of my day because my day starts around two and goes to like i think we get to kansas city at like maybe 10 tonight i don't know but so we're gonna see what happens but for now i'm gonna go downstairs and get breakfast get some coffee come back up i still have plenty of time it's 7 57 and my van is not till 1 30. i don't know if i want to walk anywhere if i want to go work out i have i've stayed at this hotel before i actually have never been to the gym so maybe i'll check out the gym see what the setup is like maybe i'll do a workout um i still haven't washed my hair i'm gonna do wash my hair tonight gonna wash it tonight when I get to wherever I get to tonight I don't know where I'm gonna see could be Portland stuck in Portland could be stuck here could be make it to Kansas City wherever I'm gonna be tonight I'm gonna wash my hair because I don't start tomorrow until well shoot I don't even know when I start. <laughs> depending on where I get stuck because tomorrow is just one flight from Kansas City at like 5 p.m. Kansas City time back to New York so we're gonna see what happens we're gonna see what happens all right so i made it back i got it wasn't a lot <clears throat> to, well i mean it was whatever i got this little like spinach quiche thing then they have all these little pre-made breakfast sandwiches whatever and i got a coffee yeah so i'm just gonna sit and eat watch some tv i might just go out and go for a walk just to get some exercise and get out did i bring sneakers i did bring sneakers um i don't know we're gonna see what i decide to do It's nice out here, but I can tell the weather's about to start changing. The wind's picking up, clouds have rolled in. The rain's definitely probably gonna start within the next hour or so. We shall see how it goes. I'm back, y'all. Um, I had my shower, semi-dressed. Um, <clears throat> I'm warming up my food right now. Sorry, I'm just making sure my hair lays flat before I go to work. Uh, warming up my food. I decided to, it's probably best to eat right now. Cause I don't know how this day is going to take me and I learned my lesson from yesterday and I don't want to be stuck in random airports today with no access to a microwave to eat so I'm just gonna eat now and if I just have to like have snacks the rest of the day at least I will have had an actual meal um, before my day starts so it's 12:48. Uh, our van is at 1 30 I've been tracking our plane it's it's already started not it's been delayed already the flights before it are already delayed it's scheduled to get to well, it's supposed to get to us at 1.43. Did it depart yet? I don't... It was supposed to leave Portland. It's coming from Portland where the weather was. And it was supposed to leave Portland at 12.10. It has been... It was delayed um, to 12.33. And it is currently 12.48. Let me see if it departed yet. It still... It hasn't departed yet. So... But we still might get out on time because when it gets to JFK, it had about an hour before my flight. So we might still be fine. Um, the weather hasn't really picked up yet here. Let's see what the weather says. It's supposed to really start, I don't know, sometime between now and 2. And then it's like 70 to 100% up until like 5. So 
we're gonna see what's happened so i you guys saw i went to h&m um i bought like this hoodie long hoodie kind of like dress it's just a cozy comfortable like a throw on to be able to just throw that on some slides and wear that it was cute it was comfortable it was like 19 dollars, so i got it uh then i went to target bought a couple items um walk back it's definitely humid out like it feels like a storm's coming because the humidity it feels like a thunderstorm's coming um so i'm gonna eat my food and then i will get back with you guys like before i head out all right y'all i'm ready getting ready to head down for the van our plane hasn't even left portland yet jfk is technically on a ground stop right now oh no it just took off so we're gonna see how it goes all right, I'm gonna head downstairs and get to the van. I got like three minutes. Hey y'all. I'm in my hotel. Am I in the hotel I'm supposed to be in? No. Uh, I am in Portland. So we took the flight from JFK, the deadhead from JFK to um, here. We're supposed to operate here back to LaGuardia, LaGuardia to Kansas City. But right when, when we landed, he, well, it was a whole mess. We were a little delayed leaving JFK because of weather. And then we got ready to land and the visibility here in Portland is really bad. So we went down, had to go back up, do a go around, land again. When we finally landed, got notification that our flight from Portland to LaGuardia had canceled. So therefore we can't work the two flights. So captain called and they told us we were just going to spend the night here so we waited our other flight is in it was actually coming from LaGuardia she was actually her flight was actually able to take off uh it was delayed they sat on the runway for like two hours but she made it here so we waited at the airport for her and then we took the van over here to the hotel so I'm here in Portland I stopped down in the restaurant and got lobster rolls because the lady on our the flight attendant on our deadhead she sold me on it she's like if you stay in Portland you gotta go get the lobster I mean I've had the lobster rolls here but she was saying the one in the hotel is pretty good and then we had to order them so me and the captain and the first officer all stopped at the restaurant and got lobster rolls <sighs> so I'm in my room but y'all I'm having the same issue that I had yesterday so once again my crew all of them have gotten an update for what they're doing tomorrow I still have not, my schedule has not updated. So they are, we're all supposed to be double deadheading tomorrow. So we're supposed to fly from Portland to LaGuardia, sit in LaGuardia for like three hours, I think. <sighs> Deadhead from LaGuardia to Kansas City <clears throat> and then operate that flight. We're supposed to, we were supposed to work tomorrow, which was like a 5 p.m. out of Kansas City back to New York. They've all got the update. I still have not. When my captain called, was talking to crew scheduling about the plans for tonight, he let them know, you know, my other flight attendant, she, her schedule has not been updated once again. He, he, they said they were going to do it and they still have not. So I ain't calling them. I'm not sitting on hold forever. That's not my job to do that. That's schedule, crew scheduling, supposed to update everyone. So. I ain't doing it. I ain't calling. I'm not staying on hold for another hour to two hours again. Um, just to get them to update my schedule that they never did. But anywho, so I'm here in my room. I'm going to get changed, eat my lobster roll. I'm going to wash my hair because I haven't done that. I also bought this, um, I watched this TikTok video where this girl, this beautiful brown skin lady, she was talking about how she had seen videos where other you know brown skinned women have been doing this self tanner with the Jergens deep bronze tanner tanner and how it just gives your skin just like this beautiful like healthy glow and her skin looked amazing y'all it looked amazing from it so I actually when I went to Target today I bought it and so I want to do it tonight because what's today it's today Tuesday today is Monday um to Wednesday is my boyfriend's birthday so we have plans but the next day we're gonna go to this spa that has like all these um like pools and everything and so I want my skin to look nice and glowy because I don't have any real sun right now so I just want to try it and see how it looks out because her skin looked amazing so I brought that and I also brought this thing to do like a mask so I'm just gonna give myself a little self-care tonight while I'm at the hotel our well our report time is supposed to be well our flight's at 11 tomorrow um I don't have a schedule, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to eat, 
wash my hair, put my deep conditioner in. I'll probably get up in the morning and blow it out before I go. I'm probably just gonna sleep with my deep conditioner in. Um, and then do the self tanner. Cause it's supposed to, she left it on for 12 hours. And so it's seven o'clock, seven to eight. So if I have it on by, let's say eight to nine to 10. So eight to eight, that's perfect. So if I put it on by 8 p.m and get up in the morning and take a shower at 8 a.m. It's like 12 hours, so wish me luck, y'all. All right, y'all, so it's kind of dark in here, but if I turn the other light on, it's a fan, and it's very loud. Uh, so my hair looks crazy. I'm about to wash my hair, um, and I got all my products. I brought up most of my stuff to wash my hair. I got my blow dryer, but I'm gonna do that in the morning. I did have to buy shampoo today because, y'all, I'm gonna try some hotel shampoos. I brought two different deep conditioners. Uh, I bought them both, so I was like, eh, maybe I'll make some. This I bought this mask today at Target. I'm gonna put this on tonight because my skin's kind of wonky. Um, and then this is the tanning stuff. Jergens has it instant sun, the deep bronze. So but uh mitt. So what I'm gonna do, um I'm gonna get in the shower. Oh, my hair, if you could feel my hair, it's so dirty. Uh, I'm gonna get in the shower, shampoo my hair, and then you gotta exfoliate really good to use this. I'm gonna exfoliate really good, get out, put my deep conditioner in. I'm just gonna put a shower cap on. I bought, brought my little hair turban thing to sleep with. Uh, and then I'm going to apply the self tanner. And I'm gonna try to show you guys a little bit of what I look like, my skin, so you have a comparison uh, between now and then. Why is the lighting? I want to turn the other light on, but it's just too loud. And then, um, sorry, that's banner. And then, so if you guys can actually tell me if you see a difference, but let me go ahead and prep my hair. Let me get a shower and All right, y'all, my hair is deep conditioning and I'm getting ready to do my, um, the tanner. I'm gonna turn the light on just so you guys can have a better look of what my before looks like. Just ignore the fan, cause it's loud as hell. But, so, this is what my skin's looking like right now. Give it a close up. So this is me currently. Uh, my face looks crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready and do this. The directions say, what do they say? Exfoliate, oh, exfoliate and moisturize dry air is prior to use. Okay. So let me put some lotion on first and then put it on the mitt, smooth over body, using sparingly on elbows, knees and ankles, wash hands immediately after application. It says leave on for four hours, but clearly I'm not gonna do that. So let me go ahead and moisturize and then I'm gonna go back to Okay, I got it on. I lathered myself in it, slathered myself in it. Um, so now I'm gonna do my mask and then I think that's it. I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the night. So it's 8.15 now, so I'm not gonna wash this off until after 8.15 tomorrow morning, which is fine. Like I said, our van isn't, actually I don't even know when our van is. The flight's at 11. The van's probably 10 something, so plenty of time for me to get up in the morning shower and I hope this works. It did say on the thing that if you don't get the desired results in one use, you can do it again the second night. So we'll see how I like it. If it's not giving me the bronzy glow I'm looking for, I might do it again tomorrow night or I might not. We'll see. Good morning. I'm up. I'm about to run next door to Starbucks. I placed an order for pickup and get a coffee and a breakfast sandwich. Uh, I'm a little orangey, but I'm going to come back and then by the time I get back, it should be like eight or almost eight. Well, by the time I come back, eat, drink my coffee and everything, it should be like eight. Um, and then I'm gonna get in the shower and wash this stuff off. It didn't even come off on the sheets. Like I was thinking it would like be on the sheets or something, but it didn't. Well, I guess it's a little, it's okay, it's a little brown. Better theirs than mine, y'all. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, it's definitely giving Oompa Loompa right now. <laughs> Um, but hopefully when it rinses off, it'll be giving beautiful bronze goddess. We gonna see that. All 
Alright, so ignore the light. Can y'all tell the difference? I feel like a little like I have a reddish tint to me right now. I don't know. I kind of I see a difference, I think. So I wash my hair, rinse my hair. I'm about to blow dry my hair because I have I think an hour and a half over van time. So let me get together. Alright, my hair is blown out. I have it pulled back. I just have this on here. Um, to help it lay flat before I leave. I still have half an hour before my event time, so. Uh, I have my pant my shirt on, I got my tights on. I just have my skirt and like over sweater on, but I'm all packed up. So I'm just gonna chill out for the next half an hour. My schedule has still not updated. Um, so there is this, like our actual like scheduling system. When I look in there, I see the change to my schedule, but like, in my our app that we use to like for our flights and everything it's still the old schedule so i still can't check in for the deadheads for today so we're gonna see what happens our pilots did message us they got reassigned so now well for the they're not doing the deadheads with us anymore they are getting uber to bangor maine i don't know how far that is from here then they have to repo a flight a plane to chicago then they're going to fly Deadhead from Chicago to Kansas City. Then they're going to meet us in Kansas City and then fly the last flight back with us. It's a whole mess, y'all. And I was like, I don't know if I got reassigned to anything because my schedule is not showing me any changes to it. And it's upsetting me and my homegirls because I don't know if if they make a change to my schedule. I'm not going to see it. So I'm just going to go to the airport for the Deadhead that I have today. I can't check in. Hopefully they have a reservation for me. I don't know what is going on, y'all. I don't understand. It's a mess. I'm just ready to go home. I'm over it. All right, I'm dressed. Gonna head down for the van. Um, we're gonna see what happens today. Hopefully, when I get to the airport, they have a reservation for me. If not, y'all, I'm going home. I ain't got time for all this. Oh, 